A Toronto woman vacationing in Jamaica is dead after being injured in an alleged assault. According to media reports, there had been 18 murders in the Bahamas and 65 in Jamaica since the start of the new year. And most of these were linked to gang violence. In a recent U.S. travel advisory, American citizens are being urged to think twice before traveling to Jamaica. Jamaica has been placed at level three, with the State Department urging visitors to reconsider traveling to the country due to a spate of crime. The United States Travel Advisory has four major levels of travel precaution for all travelers planning visits to several destinations and these precautions include number one, exercise normal precautions, number two, exercise increased caution, three, reconsider travel, and four, do not travel. Currently, Jamaica is only one level away from do not travel as the recent news outlet from the State Department advises all travelers to reconsider traveling to the country. That is crazy. The U.S. Department of State has issued a new warning for American travelers headed to the Caribbean due to violent crime. TV6's Wafa Ezit joins us now with more information on this. Wafa? Well, in the travel advisory issued last week for both the Bahamas and Jamaica, the State Department said violent crimes such as home invasions, armed robberies, sexual assaults and homicides are common. The Bahamas travel advisory is at now at level two, asking travelers to exercise increased caution. And the advisory for Jamaica is more severe at level three, advising those who are planning a trip uh, to reconsider travel, which is one level below the department's level four, do not travel advisory. My name is Roy Heritage. I am a traveler and explorer currently here in Ghana. I share my travels right here on this channel and bring you new travel updates across the globe. Kindly subscribe and join the community on this channel. The report suggests that violent crimes such as home invasions, armed robberies, sexual assaults and homicides are common in the island. Well, this is not very good considering Jamaica's top source of revenue comes with tourism. The tourism industry earns over 50% of the country's total foreign exchange earning, meaning that well over one-fourth of all jobs in Jamaica comes from the tourism industry. So this new development is not a good look for the country. That being said, I have followed tourism in Jamaica for a while and listened to news athletes from the country and if you look at the 1970s through the drug wars you know in the 80s and the 90s we've seen jamaica go through political related issues we've seen the country also flourish with its music and social appeal i mean jamaica for what it was from the 90s is certainly not the same jamaica today even though there are these disturbances the question here is should we generalize the whole issues to restrain tourism revenue in the area just let me know what you think in the comments below. But I think considering the long-lasting crime-related issues Jamaica is struggling with, murder and crime rates as of 2024 has been significantly reduced. Meaning, well, they are trying really hard to fight these issues from escalating and destroying the country's reputation. And I've seen some officials from their government speak to that effect. So take a listen and let me know what you think. Nicola Madden Gray is president of the Caribbean Hotel and Tourist Association. Something that the State Department does worldwide for all destinations, so we shouldn't take it personal or anything like that. This is their, their standard release. Um, we have all sorts of persons coming, diplomats. Um, we have the regular Jew of um, American that comes here and has a wonderful time. So I don't take it for anything. The fact is Jamaica remains a safe and seamless destination for tourists, local and international. Crimes against tourists is about 0.01%, which is extremely low, so it's almost non-existent. Uh, but at the same time, we note their concerns. Um, those are concerns that, some of those concerns are concerns we share, but for the most part, we want to make it clear that Jamaica is a safe and seamless destination. Interestingly, U.S. Secretary of the Treasury Janet Wallen reportedly vacationed in Montego Bay, St. James, days before the State Department urged its citizens to reconsider travel to the island. We put the issue to Mr. Sivright. I can neither confirm nor deny um, the presence of, of, of certain uh, you know, U.S. and other officials who are in Jamaica. What I can confirm is that over the last several weeks and months we have had multiple visits by leaders the canadian prime minister was on vacation here uh, we have a number of u.s officials who have been on vacation here or had been on vacation here weeks and months ago uh, some of which of course we can't name and beyond that we have a whole list of alias celebrities you see if you consider the report from the united states advisory and the impacts or should i say the potential impact it can have on jamaican tourism this should be a major wake-up call for all jamaican tourism stakeholders you know the value tourism brings to your shores and therefore need to work harder to sustain that reputation as a tourist who loves jamaica for names like bob mali you've seen boats jimmy craig marcus gavi shaggy and so many more
news outlets of violence and murders prohibiting international travelers from visiting is completely insane. So the question here is, should you visit Jamaica regardless of this outlet? Well, that would be entirely at your discretion. But my advice would be on the foundation that looking at the history Jamaica had with crime and violence and where they have got to in 2024 with decreased rates in some of these issues. For me, it's surprising news outlets and warning came out the way it did. I, I have to be honest. But that being said, I'll agree with the United States Department on the safety tips recommended, which is number one, you know, don't answer the door unless you know who it is, then probably do not physically resist a robbery attempt. Number three, enroll in a smart traveler enrollment program for emergency alerts. And last but not the least, always have a safety plan. Guys, these tips should be applied to any country you visit. My name is your heritage. Comment down below. Let me know of your experiences in Jamaica, whether negative or positive. In this community, we create awareness on travel destinations because sharing feedback today can help someone somewhere. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.